everyone and welcome to another edition of Pitch Brand Talk. I have with me today Mr. Iram Kidwai. He's the Senior Vice President and Head of Marketing at Aegis Federal Life Insurance. They have just released a new campaign and to tell us more, well, I welcome again Iram. Hi, Iram. Hi, hi, Simran. How are you? Uh, Iram, I just wanted to start off with your new campaign, Cradle to Crease. A really interesting concept. Uh, what was the insight that you had about this campaign? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so, um, um, Aegis Federal has always been, you know, uh, at the cutting edge of the technology uh, when it comes to usage, even in our advertising and promotion. And uh, this current campaign, Cradle to Crease, featuring our um, uh, ambassador, Mr. Sachin Tendulkar, who doesn't need any introduction, is actually uh, one of our finest works so far. That's my personal opinion. Uh, we are yet to ratify that from audiences and, and um, uh, other institutions alike. See, the insight is very simple. Uh, we at Aegis Federal believe in empowering our customers to live a life and lifestyle of their choice, right? And we have a tagline, which is, we empower you to become future fearless, right? And uh, that is what, what inspired us to come up with this new concept we did a little bit of research along with our uh, creative agencies, um, along with our um, we dig, dip, dig dipsticks inside the company, outside the company to find out what is it that the uh, millennials and, and the present generation look at when they come to invest or when they think about investing decisions. And one very interesting fact that emerged was that, uh, you know, they have most probably a perception or a notion that there are certain time slots in the year when you need to invest, like, you know, for the financial planning at the end of the year, financial year uh, for taxation purposes, or most of them feel that, okay, fine, you need to have an insurance plan right at the beginning of your career when you're starting and maybe somewhere in the middle when you become a parent. But this is not exactly, uh, this is exactly what is not true. And, and you, we all know it because insurance as an instrument, investment as a, as a, as an exercise is for all seasons, all ages, and, and all uh, age groups. And that was the insight. We, we wanted to uh, debunk this myth that you there's a specific age or time frame when you need to buy insurance, right? And that's why the film keeps on reiterating the fact, what is the right time? There is no right time. The right time is now. The right time to in invest, the right time to buy an insurance plan is when you, according to your needs in your life, are aware that you have a goal or an objective coming up in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, and you start planning for it. Now, that doesn't mean that the that if I am a 25-year-old guy starting my career, I, I need an insurance and then I need to stay put. No. When you become 30, you, your objectives change. You're not start changes right yeah and and then you you your uh, so do your does your responsibilities so insurance as an investment solution as we all know is something which is there for all ages and that's what we want to address through this campaign that the right time to invest is always now depending upon your needs upon your age and 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 i think that's that's the the, the film currently uh, with the use of technology ai um uh, you know, talks about that aspect of being prudent when it comes to financial planning solutions. Uh, it has really addressed uh, uh, the, the 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 nature of the of the issue that has come up uh, through this insight. You mentioned technology and AI. What were the learnings uh, for you and challenges while using this new this technology? Well, see, uh, this is not the first time we are doing it in AGS Federal. Uh, about two, two and a half years back, we were the first ones in, almost the first ones in the entire corporate, uh, BFSI corporate sector to use um, deepfake and uh, Gen AI technology to come up with our campaign. At that point of time, we showcased Sachin as a 16 year, as, as a 12 year old, right? And it was talking to the uh, parents of children. And, and we took that concept a little bit further. And uh, we again, we have used AI and um, um, deepfake solution to de-age Sachin, de-age his voice and present him right from childhood till the time he made his debut in Pakistan uh, when he was a 16 year old. And um, um, yes, it was it was a challenging bit. First and foremost, as you realize that concepts like these are, I think, the, we, 
we are the ones who one of the very few who push the envelope right and you need to get your management's approval you need to get your board's approval you need to have a very clear understanding of the possibilities that the current technological landscape provides to you now i can come up with a very great concept but if it is not executable it doesn't make any sense so you know uh, we collaborated with our agencies we collaborated and discussed amongst ourselves amongst our senior management team and we said yes the, we are up to the task we can do this and while filming uh, obviously and making much before editing even during the shoot sachin was quite excited because um, he knows that we are the ones who who uh, you know we go beyond um, uh, what is normal so to say in advertising parlance and we always come up with innovative ideas he was quite excited that this film is going to portray his not only his childhood but from his infancy to his you know younger days and uh, the biggest challenge was finding uh, collaborative agencies uh, who can provide this technology for us and uh, it was a humongous task for both us as well as our creative partners to screen the agencies to see whether the output that they will provide will be up to the mark because you understand it's a, it's a brand image at stake it's not only our brand image at stake it's the brand image of sachin tendulkar you know the god of cricket is at stake also i mean you cannot just have any agency doing that job and um, uh, so there was a lot of um, uh, to and fro when we, it came to the selection of uh, associates and partners then the biggest challenge was once the film was made and during the filming of the actually let, let me tell you this that uh, you know the different age groups that you see sachin Yes, they are actually kids whom Sachin himself selected along with us to find out, and obviously he is the best one to know that what he looked like when he was five, what he looked like when he was seven, ten, twelve, sixteen, right? So there was a plethora of options for each age groups, and we did a screen test for that, and there were at least hundred, hundred twenty children selected, out of which we narrowed down to five in the various age groups. the film was shot on those kids and then came the technological bit during the editing you know uh, there are more than 100 points on your face uh, if you need to create an ai or a deep fake there are more than 100 points that need to be taken care of in terms of your expressions in term, in terms of your placements of your of the features of the person whose deep fake you are creating so that was something which was a challenging task because in during the editing then we'll have to we we had to make sure that sachin uh, and and sachin was in every uh, in every editing uh, script well, he was actively involved uh, with us so i think overall it it was a challenge throughout but we are quite happy with the results that have come up and um, a complex topic like financial planning uh, you know uh, demystifying it uh, coming out with an insight which is we feel it is very important and after all the challenges when you see a film on screen at the final stages like this everybody is uh, quite satisfied and sachin was the happiest now you mentioned about sachin you had a long association with him so how has that helped build the brand salience of ages federal life insurance great question uh, simran because see one must understand first the uh, where we are currently as a company uh, ages federal life insurance um, um, we had a brand name change just about two and a half years back right and uh, that's not not a very long time for a for a marketing and branding team um you know the biggest challenge is obviously brand awareness and brand saliency and uh, we are the newest kid on the block you can say as far as brand uh, uh, you know saliency is concerned because we've just had our re uh, rechristening we we've, we've renamed ourselves so um, but having sachin tendulkar as a brand brand ambassador helped people were able to associate that yes this is the same company which has been in the in the indian market for so many years and we are not the new entrants but overall uh, having such in for the brand for so many years you know for the visibility as well uh, because of his uh, widespread popularity and the celebrity status we have always benefited from that right he he is an icon in himself his iconic status his truthfulness his et uh, ethical values his reliability trustworthiness a certain is uh, you know propositions that we that we were actually debating when we were thinking of taking up a brand associate uh, brand ambassador and such an uh, you know fits the bill perfectly because i don't think uh, you know uh, you have any other personality both in sports as well as the other big stuff which we indians choose or other other big lot 
which is uh, the entertainment industry you don't have anybody like sachin tendulkar he is well respected he is well honored he has proven himself more than enough right he uh, he is uh, at the epitome of of what he used to do and what he still does and he is still revered and respected by the younger generation you know nobody else has a, a universal appeal as sachin and so um, it was a it was an instantaneous marriage when we were thinking of having sachin on board about 7 8 9 years back and that association we are glad has continued because uh, we have benefited a lot from his presence and his endorsements uh, as our brand ambassador so the value system fits naturally now you know sachin and sports is obviously interlinked so sports has also been a uh, you know ages life federal life insurance has also uh, you've been investing in sports especially marathons which you conduct So mm-hmm. I just want to know also are you looking to increase your investments in uh, sports and are you looking at other sporting events also uh, mm-hmm. which are the sports that you are keenly looking at mm-hmm. Right so I think uh, first and foremost let us understand why we chose this genre right why did we why did Aegis Federal and uh, before that even when we were uh, earlier uh, why did we go for sports See, um, uh, our uh, emphasis has always been that we'll provide a life and lifestyle choice, you know, to be lived by a customer and availed by a customer uh, without any hassles, right? And they should leave all the troubles to us. And we have always been a proponent of uh, both physical and financial fitness. We want to promote always physical and financial fitness for our customers. Now, both these things come hand in hand for us, but first comes physical fitness. Fine. you can only be happy you can only be satisfied if you're physically fit and if and we want to fit a uh, india um, uh, that has always been our um, stance right from the very beginning a fitter india a happier india a satisfied india and a financially stable india and that is the reason why we entered into marathons when nobody was thinking about marathons we we about 8 years back when we started our marathon uh, sponsoring marathons in uh, and we sponsored marathons in more than 5 cities across major cities across the country you were the first one to do that because we really wanted people to see that look this is a brand that you know believes in you know walking the talk and we are not just just uh, these are not just concepts for us we actually wanted that to happen then we we uh, extended our foray into sponsoring uh, cricket academies like we have an association with dilip and sarkar foundation uh, which does a lot of work for underprivileged children who want to play cricket but they don't have the means to come and you know uh, with the kids and and uh, have practice sessions and coaching sessions we we have been associated with them for years we have as you might be aware we are also you know um, in association with um, uh, gorav khanna who is a dhunuchara awardee who is the uh, badminton coach for indian para badminton uh, badminton players and they have been winning laurels across the world for the last 3 years we have been associated with them so overall sporting genre for us is not just a method or means of uh, you know showcasing my brand it is living my values and telling our customers and prospects that look we really mean what we say we want you to lead a lifestyle of your choice and you can only do that when you have these two empowering uh, tools one is your fitness we'll assist you in that because our brand proposition and brand recognition will come from the programs that we have been sponsoring and two is by providing you the right type of uh, solutions in fro- in the form of our plans and products when it comes to prudent financial planning so so that's how it has been our case and in the near future too also we will most probably keep on uh, doing our bit for the for the community and for the nation you know you've mentioned financial planning and you also use the word complex because this is not something which is very easy to communicate so you know any particular insight or challenge that uh, you know you've uh, gathered uh, when uh, it to, it to ensure that it resonates with your tg great question so yes uh, right you are absolutely correct uh, when when it comes to financial planning at least we indians usually you know we are found lacking on most aspects and especially when it comes to life insurance you know it is always still recognized as a category which is a push category Uh, right and not a pull category but things are changing we have seen a lot of changes in the landscape when it comes to investing i mean india i think uh, rising india is and growing india is the story uh, which is now obviously uh, which is resonating across the world 
whether we are talking about uh, financial planning at an individual level or at the at the corporate sector level or at the government level uh, the government is doing its bit uh, more than its bit that to promote financial literacy whether it's through mutual fund uh, uh, you know propagation or life insurance propagation in the masses people are now becoming more aware because gone are the times when people uh, you know usually dependent upon their agents to be guided for prudent and and proper financial planning they are taking up they are more educated now they are taking up financial planning uh, upon themselves they have realized the importance how important it is uh, you know to be financially secure uh, in terms of your and your family's well being so, uh, so uh, one of the two uh, one of the two things that i believe has you know catapulted india and indian diaspora into a better financial planner space is the recent development which happened and uh, which was quite unfortunate uh, you know the pandemic after the pandemic people woke up and said hey what is something like this happens most probably me or my family doesn't have any you know means to support themselves we can end up high and dry and that's the reason the the level of involvement started you know uh, increasing and and today we have many youngsters coming over all by themselves inquiring on our site on our websites on our digital app, assets inquiring about financial plans right um, the second thing that happened is because we are going as a, as an economy we are growing obviously we are uh, more, you 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 are aware right uh, in the secondary market indians the the you know we are we have to almost taken over the fdi's role today right domestic investors are more potent and more important for the indian uh, markets than the D, uh, fdi's and and who could have thought that about 2 years back so so it's not that they are not educated the education is going up but yes it is still a challenge for for most of us but uh, uh, through right development uh, through right proper training education content development and projecting ourselves and the needs to the to the customers i think uh, each one of us is doing our our bit and this is bound to grow up you know the 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 in insurance uh, as percentage insurance of fdi has grown to 4.5% which used to be 2 to 1/2% about 10 years back and in, in that speaks volumes of about the amount of literacy financial literacy that has uh, you know percolated the indian diaspora i think that this is this is a growth story and this will keep on continuing so how has your media and marketing mix also changed in the last say 2 to 3 years because you just mentioned content focus on content and also how has that uh, changed so uh, i would say that um, um, when we when it came to uh, content production development and propagation i think we've seen a sea change in the last 3 to 4 5 years because of the advent and penetration of internet in india now um, there's no hidden secret that today when you're talking about internet and content consumption on internet it's growing by leaps and bounds that's an understatement actually right you go to a small town like uh, faizabad or um, uh, you know uh, almora and you'll see most probably a small shopkeeper you know having a qr code in front of him and he's browsing the internet throughout the day so what that does to me as a brand is it provides me an opportunity to touch base with the customer at the smallest uh, uh, cost per per per, per, per customer per lead right uh, earlier if i would have to reach him i would have taken recourse to conventional media like television print outdoors which any which ways uh, for any brand uh, of any level there's a limitation to the expenditure that they can do on brand and marketing okay but now with with uh, internet available with with almost everybody across the society i can not only develop content segment wise i can choose what to send whom right and i can actually track the content consumption which has given me as a marketer a bigger responsibility to get the maximum bang for the buck that i'm spending so there is an increased emphasis on the content marketing bit because i have to come up with relevant contents for the different categories and segments that of customers but also of the propagation the informative bit and the engaging content bit how is that content going to reach my customers and it at ages federal we have always launched our campaigns not only now but for the last 4 5 years more and more uh, uh, through digital manners it's it's digital me- marketing social media marketing you know whether you talk about news pa- news channels the online channels whether you talk about ott platforms whether you talk about social media targeting for our, to our customers we have always been 
you know, 60 to 70 percent of our budget goes in digital and uh, social media marketing. And we have believed that this is the means through which we can reach our customers, provide them with the relevant content, uh, you know, hyper localize the content as much as possible and not do just carpet bombing. And then obviously measure what our campaigns have done uh, when it comes to uh, the usage of marketing budget. So that has been the sea change as far as the media uh, landscape is concerned at Aegis Federal and across India. And final, my, uh, finally, my uh, final question is that, you know, how did uh, Aegis Federal Life Insurance, uh, you know, uh, if you look, were to look at last year, how was the growth last year? particularly the last quarter and what is the growth that you're looking forward for this financial year? Well, uh, we, we haven't yet declared our, our profits or declared our results because uh, we are uh, in the process of doing our uh, annual reports. The moment they come out, I'll be uh, able to share it because they are being verified by the by the departments as well as by, by the regulators. But we are on a growth trajectory. We have been growing year on year. We have been announcing profits. We have uh, year on year, we are the very one of the very few life insurance companies that have actually, um, you know, uh, given given profit, being profitable for the last so many years. And and pandemic has not actually dented uh, that that profit margin. And and we, uh, apart from that, in terms of market share, we have grown a lot. Uh, one good thing that we have done is we are now obviously we always there, but we have now focused more on our proprietary channels. When I say proprietary channels. Uh, as the name suggests, AGS Federal. Federal Bank is our uh, stakeholder as well as our major distributor. But uh, we have also now encouraged um, agency channel, DST channel, which is a direct sales force channel and digital channels. And we are putting in a lot of might behind it, each one of these channels, so that we become truly multi-channel uh, company. And all these things have contributed, all these channels have contributed to the growth in the last one or two years, mainly. So uh, as soon as the numbers come out, I'll be able to share with you. But uh, it has been a path for, of consistent growth for us in terms of both business, in terms of AUM, in terms of persistency. Um, uh, I can say uh, God has been kind. Thank you so much Yuna, for, for your time. It's been lovely talking to you. Thanks a lot, Simran, and all the best for your future endeavors. Thanks a lot.